a health maintenance organization is, is an insurance plan that uh, tries to deal with the moral hazard problem. Doctors are paid salaries. They are not paid for procedures. So doctors are employees of the HMO, and uh, they have no incentive to put you, give you an operation that you don't need, because their pay won't go up. The HMO Act of 1973 required employers with 25 or more employees to offer their employees a federally certified HMO plan. Okay. So one of the one of the first HMOs, I'll say this because you know about them, was the Yale Health Plan. Uh, actually, the Yale Health Plan uh, dates to I'll, I'll say YHP for Yale Health Plan, 1971. It actually got started before the HMO Act. Uh, that's because uh, people here at Yale were thinking along the same. There was talk then already about the importance of preventative me medicine. And Charles Taylor, who was the Yale provost, uh, liked the idea. I know it was being talked about in Congress, but Yale didn't even wait for the government to require it. We did it in advance. Uh, so, uh, the, the, quoting Taylor, social responsibility of the university extends to the pioneering and the demonstration of improved methods for the provision of health services to population.